All Around Nitro is your monthly informational update with Mayor Dave Casebolt. And action. Hey folks, Jeff Barton came called me yesterday and wanted to do a little video for a reunion coming up and I asked him if we could take this opportunity to let people know, especially those that live out of state and out of town, maybe coming in for next year's reunion, what all's going on in town and some of the recent changes that have occurred. For example, right behind us, if you can see, the facade of Nitro City Hall has changed. It used to be brick, if you remember. Now we changed it, put drivet on it. Not only that, so has the fire department. It was also brick. It's also had drivet put on it. We have a grant that's going out for bid probably in the next, I'm going to guess in the next week to two weeks, so I expect construction to start this fall on a whole new streetscape project they will take out that little parking pad on the other side of City Hall and 2nd Avenue, come down this sidewalk all the way down, back down to Bank Street. On the church side, they'd take that sidewalk out and uh, replace it all the way down to Cook and Polly. We're gonna put a new sidewalk in from 20th Street down to 19th Street. And also included in that, if it happens, is, is uh, replacing the sidewalk on the east side of 2nd of, uh, Avenue that goes all the way from 21st Street down to 20th Street. So let me show you a couple other, let me show you a couple other little things that, that uh, maybe you haven't noticed have changed or don't, are not Years aware ago, of. This, the old A1 carpet building uh, was donated to the city. We have turned that into our museum. It's, it's actually two rooms. So we have uh, the history of the city of Nitro and, and some war history on this side and we are uh, working on the nitro history on the other side. Also, the second floor is used as a workout facility for our youth. They uh, batting cages, they can go up there and pitch and field ground balls, so the whole building is utilized for city purposes. Let me show you a couple other things that have changed. Five years ago, we built this pocket park right here that we call Living Memorial Park. We utilize this for a lot of events. Uh, we just closed off from 21st Street down to uh, 20th Street, and everybody gathers in here. We have concerts. We even have some big festivals, uh, our Wagging Tails and Nitro Ales, Chili Cook-Off and uh, Craft Beer Festival, which is a big festival for us. Uh, we have right here in this location. So this is a great park. We've memorialized a lot of our uh, veterans here. Uh, they have, a, we probably have four to 500 bricks in here that uh, about people and their time they served in the military. So. Uh, it's a great little park. It's visited all the time by people inside the city and from outside the city. Let me tell you what's going on across the street. Rolling in action. This is the old movie theater. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this. I remember my mom used to give me a quarter, and I would come down here on Saturdays and watch a double feature and also get be able to get a pop and a popcorn with it. So uh, a lot of memories here. I've watched Sound of Music here, uh, Patton, Jaws. Uh, high school, we'd always come over here on Friday nights to watch movies. It was a great gathering point in the community. It's now been bought by a very generous gentleman, Bob Cochran. He lives out of state, and he's going to renovate it back to its old form, and we're going to use this for for uh, weddings and for receptions and for parties and, and for youth. So uh, we've really moving along going to great before COVID. Then COVID hit, and it's kind of slowed us down. So. Uh, I can't give you a time frame on this, but I would hope within the next the next year or so that this project would be finished. Our streetscape projects where we uh, redid Bank Street from 19th Street to 22nd Street, redid the parking lots on both sides. Uh, but what I really wanted to tell you about, plus all the way up 21st Street to 2nd Avenue, but what I want really tell you about is we've now applied for phase four of streetscape and if you remember, if, if some of you old timers might remember that 21st Street was a brick street. Well, we'll have brick pavers here on our entrance up to about this cross section here. Plus we'll be, we'll be uh, landscaping all this green area down here. We'll really make a very beautiful entry into Nitro. So that's a grant we're applying for now. I expect uh, if we receive it this year, you're looking still two, three years down the road before the project happens, those state grants. Uh, uh, land and water, well it's not land and water, street, streets and transportation grants, they take a while to, to happen. So 
Uh, anyway, two to three years down the road, you're going to see a whole new changing out here on Bank Street. So let me show you something else. You guys remember the old Castler, Casto Hardware and Van Buren building had a lot of sentimental value to a lot of people, including me. But unfortunately, the building sat on the market for a long time. Uh, nobody ever bought it. It was starting to, the walls were starting to crumble. Uh, it was just becoming a big dinosaur in the middle of town. The city ended up purchasing this piece of property and we have sold it to Taco Bell. And as you can see behind us, they're now constructing their their uh, business here and, and should be uh, open, I'm going to guess, within the next month. So this is something new. But, but even more exciting is the city city's, uh, is uh, looking at other properties down First Avenue. In fact, we're closing on another one probably within the next uh, couple of weeks. And we'll, so there'll be more of these buildings coming down and hopefully bringing new business in. And the, the primary problem with this area is you have four, five, six thousand square foot buildings with five or six parking spots. And it's just not functional. Uh, so uh, you're gonna see a big change in this face of Nitro in the next year or two. Year or two. Uh, let me show you something else going on. Of course, everybody knows the pool area. Spent a lot of your childhood here. Uh, today's August the 13th, and this time next week, we're going to be tearing this old pool house down. It's just it's not functional anymore. It costs us a lot of money uh, working on it every year. So we're telling, tearing the old pool house down. We're going to pull it out front here, which means we're going to have to take the old tree down here. I call it the lightning tree because this is where everybody goes during a lightning storm. They come in here and stand underneath this tree. But uh, we'll be tearing the pool house down, moving it out front. Uh, we're going to have a new, new bathhouse, new concession stand. It's going to be a, a, about, I think it's about a thousand square foot room for parties or meetings or whatever. Uh, we're going to be putting a splash pad right here. And... Uh, and then the next step will be to slowly start renovating the pools. Uh, I don't know how much more life the pool has, but uh, hopefully it's got a few more years in it. So we're looking at about, about a $700,000 project to build a new bathhouse and the splash pad. We're, we're getting a grant that pays 50% for our splash pad. Uh, something else we just did and are getting ready to do, we just paved the old parking lot. Everybody remembers the parking lot with cinders for for the whole time we lived here in Nitro, we have completely paved the parking lot, and now we have a landscaping plan for it uh, that I would say, it's probably waiting for some materials to come in, so probably in about four weeks, we'll be striping this and landscaping this, and it'll be a beautiful uh, parking lot here. And let me show you a couple things we're doing, we're doing over the park. The old high school baseball field, many of us played a a lot of games here, senior league games, big league games, high school games. It's now been converted to a little league field. We have turfed the infield. Uh, we'll be putting up a new fence as soon as the contractor can get in here and do it. We also turfed the infield of the little league field over by the river. Uh, that, that field's complete. We're getting ready to hopefully put sprinkler systems in on all these fields to keep our grass in good shape. We're now turfing the girls' field over in this corner, and uh, he would already had that done, but turf got put on back order, so he's just he, uh, contacted us a couple days ago, so said the turf's coming in, so he'll be laying the turf on the girls' field, and then the next step will be, uh, uh, we're actually applying for a grant, uh, a pretty big grant, probably around a million to a million and a half dollars to put new lights in, we're going to build a new field back here in this corner, coming back this way, so that we'll have four uh, lighted Little League fields. Uh, we've done our, our river pro riverfront project down here, and we're wanting to put more money in our riverfront. We have a lot of we have a lot of issues about halfway down to to the corner here where the Little League field is. So uh, uh, we're applying for that grant. There's some money available, some recreation money available that we're going aggressively after that will uh, help us accomplish all that. We also have built a, a couple pickleball courts. We just finished finished one, so it'll be painted probably in the next uh, couple weeks. So we got two nice pickleball courts that are utilized all the time. I, I'll tell you what, I've learned to love the game. A lot of people in Nitro play it. 
So these are things going on in the park. You're going to see it. You'll see it. If you haven't been in Nitro for a while, you'll see a completely different park. Let me show you just a couple more things going on in Nitro, and we'll finish this thing yeah. up. We purchased this building. I believe it used to be a furniture store, and, and then I think it was People's Federal Credit Union before they moved down the street. But we purchased this building for our police station. Uh, it's, it's about a 14,000 square foot building, and we believe it or not, we utilized about every inch of it. Uh, one thing exciting, and I think a lot of you may be aware of, a lot of you probably aren't, is City of Nitro has purchased a Tesla. We will be the first police department in the state of West Virginia to start utilizing electric vehicles. Uh, we believe that that car is easily going to pay for itself uh, over a six year term. Currently, the vehicles that we buy now, we get about six, seven years out of them. When they're done, we either junk them uh, or we give them away. We think with this uh, Tesla we're buying that we're going to see, uh, well, we know we're looking at about $30,000 savings in fuel over six years, and we believe the resale value on the car is going to be pretty good, at least, at least uh, half of what we paid for it. And the amazing thing about it is the car was $3,000 more than what we paid for uh, uh, for our, our uh, expedition. So, a lot of good things going on here. Uh, nice police department, and just show you a couple more things. What's going on out here at the lake? We are currently working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a on a huge grant. Probably, we're guessing a, around a two million dollar project to bring Rodney Iron Lake up to today's engineering standards. I'm hoping that during this project that that uh, uh, that they will dredge the lake. The lake, lake needs dredged bad. And we've got to work on something. We've got to put something in place, uh, some silt ponds or something in place upstream to catch the silt coming in. Uh, everybody, if anybody knows anything about the lake, when you come in after big rains, a lot of silt's coming in. They're in the data gathering portion of that right now. We meet on uh, through Zoom about once a month. Uh, hopefully, they'll have a plan formulated. It's going to be three, four, five year project. But uh, hopefully it's going to keep, slowly keep moving forward. Now, a little bit, something a little bit different. Sometimes people move into your community and they just make an unbelievable impact. And that's what happened when Tracy Toller moved into Nitro. He took this lake on and he started making unbelievable changes. Uh, we're put, we just put a new dock in uh, with a kayak launch. You're now allowed to have kayaks, boats on the lake. Uh, we got a new... Uh, handicap accessible dock that we're waiting on a couple pieces to come in that will go replace the old wooden dock on the other side. And let me show you one more thing and this will wrap it up. This is all his vision here. Everything you see happening is the vision of Tracy. Uh, he has built a bike park but we have to renovate it a little bit here. So we're bringing, bringing the mounds in a little bit closer and lowered them a little bit. Took a couple trees out so the bike park's closed. Hopefully it'll be reopened in the next uh, I would guess uh, three to four weeks. We received a grant, the Land and Water Conservation Grant. There's going to be a new shelter here with a bathroom, uh, uh, a really a nice shelter. We're having a lot of drainage issues with our dog park, so we got to redo that and put some drainage in to keep keep the water out. Uh, then the dog park will come in. It, it will be a little bit smaller because of the shelter. Uh, but the, I think the most exciting thing, the most exciting thing for Nitro, and again, this is uh, uh, the vision of Tracy, is we have bought 260 additional acres here. Uh, it goes all the way over to Route 25, the Rust Cemetery, anybody that's walked up on the hill up there. Uh, we are now, Tracy's working with some other people, they're putting in uh, more hiking and biking trails. We already have about two two to four miles of hiking and biking trails, but we're going to extend that another 13 or 14 miles. If you come out here to the lake at evening, you will already see a lot of bikers out here, a lot more than you've ever seen before. They come out here, they ride these trails, and a lot more hikers. So this is going to be a huge benefit to the city of Nitro, bringing people in from outside the city. We're already having bike race. Tracy's already organized some bike races and there's going to be more bike races coming, so uh, uh, a lot of things you see happening out here at the lake is, is because of Tracy. It's just remarkable what, what the man's done, Tracy and the friends of Ryden Iyer. So a lot of good things going on out here. Uh, 
you're going to see you're going to see over two million dollars in improvements in the next four to five years we've always thought that riding our lake was a big focal point of nitro so uh, we're, we're making a lot of investment out here so we've shown you a lot of things going on in nitro a lot of things that's going to be happening a lot of the new things coming and it, it's exciting to me and uh, you're going to see you're going to see a, a, almost a whole new city hopefully within the next three to four years so I hope you're excited as I am and I appreciate you taking time to watch this video one more I, I think I think to bring uh, investment into your town to attract younger people to your town that, that you got to be the first to do some things and obviously what Tracy's doing out here at the lake is, is going to be a big part of that but you know like buying the Tesla we think that that is that is going to be a big benefit to the town in numerous different ways but let me tell you something else exciting that's going on we are currently in talks with a solar company not of just putting solar panels on buildings we're not going to do that we're looking at a building a whole farm that will power every community building, every city of Nitro building in town, and uh, possibly some businesses, and uh, uh, maybe even some industry. So we're, we're right now we're looking at some different areas of where we can do that. Uh, I think we will be the first city in the state to do that if, if lucky. And believe it or not, here's the biggest thing at all: the cost to the city of Nitro is zero dollars. The risk to the city of Nitro is zero dollars. Uh, what we will see is a reduction in our electric bills and then in time we will own those panels so it's very exciting it's a new industry that i think west gen needs to embrace and nitro is going to be the first so i hope you guys are excited as i am about that